everybody, it's Mike Drudge coming to you from Vaud RV here in Fort Worth, Texas. If you're looking for a luxury bumper pull travel trailer, you might not need to look any farther than a Jayco Eagle. The Jayco Eagle line is the highest trim line of all the bumper pull travel trailers in the Jayco family. Right behind me I have a 330 RSTS model. Feast your eyes on this guy. It's 40 feet, 1 inch long, 12 feet, 3 inches high. 8 feet wide, which is standard width. Now on weights, we're 12,250 pounds on the gross weight and 10,800 pounds dry weight. Cargo carrying capacity is 1,585. How about fresh water? 81 gallons of fresh water, 111 gallons in two tanks of gray water, 37 gallons of black. That's the one that fills up fast. And propane, 60 pounds. That's 14 gallons. So lots of capacity when you're out using this. You don't have to worry about running out of storage space, running out of fresh water, or holding tank capacities, even if you're off where you don't have full hookups. Full hookups as being defined as water, sewer, and electric. Uh, just got back with our own RV from a, a place where we had no full hookups and we did fine for almost a week. All right, check out this nice pass-through storage up here, a signature of these Eagles and really all the Jacos. Look how clean this is. We've got welded aluminum up here and you've got foil insulation, a motion sensor light in here, nice clean pass-through storage area. Little USB ports up here. Now, one thing moving into 2023, Jayco is really loaded up on USB charging locations inside and out. This is a motion sensor light here, so when uh, you're loading items in and out, that's going to pop on automatically. For battery battery disconnect up here. Cameras on the side and cameras on the back and new in 2023. You can also use these for a security camera option, which I'll show you in a minute. Here's our 230s on propane right up here. And then right behind it, now on all the Eagles, you do have a generator tray. If you put a generator in here, this is where it goes. If not, you'll at least have your batteries up front here. Uh, and at the very least, you have more storage area up here uh, for extra items should you need. Coming around on what I call the utility side of the unit, um, you see we have our magnet catches here. I'm going to point this out. When these first came out a few years ago, Jayco did not jump on the bandwagon for simple reason. A lot of the magnets that manufacturers were putting on units weren't strong enough. So you'd put this thing up here, the wind would catch it, and Boom! They didn't want to do that, so they waited until they, they found these much stronger and double magnets before Jayco said, you know what, now we're comfortable with it, we're comfortable the wind's not going to blow that down. Super handy so you don't have those plastic clips up here anymore to just pop that up and know that it's going to stay there. Again, a motion sensor light up on this side. And then you can see we have auto level on this Eagle. Now all the other bumper pulls in the Jayco family do not have auto level. Even the White Hawks are not designed to have auto level feature, but the Eagles are and this has it. Now I can control it from here. I can also control it from my phone and the touchpad on the inside. Here's our utility bay, wet bay basically. So all of our settings right here and nicely labeled. There's hot and cold spray port shower right here, and then our holding tank valves here, and you can route your linkage right up through here so this stays nice and tidy. Everything in here is climate controlled, so when that furnace kicks on in super cold weather, this is receiving some heat in here. Now all the Jayco fiberglass eagles are vacuum bonded, so all of these walls uh, undergo vacuum bonded uh, a vacuum bonded process, which virtually eliminates the possibility of this delaminating over the course of, of uh, ownership. You can never have too much storage, and I love the little bonus storage areas that you sometimes end up with here on the utility side, and that we have right here. So on this side of the unit is where I'm going to put stuff that I don't need to access quite as often as I do what I call on the fun side of the unit, but man, that's a good little bit of storage for a toolbox, maybe some extra bag chairs, and so on in there. I really like that. Now, look what we have here, a tankless water heater. The industry's gravitating toward tankless water heaters, 
And I like those on a number of reasons. So pop this thing off here. This is a 60,000 BTU tankless water heater. When you're shopping around, and you should, you're gonna see a lot of tankless water heaters come on the market in the coming years. A lot of times, most times, they're gonna be 40,000 BTUs. 60,000 BTUs here, that's very significant, and remember that. It also has a little mixing reservoir in the back, so it sort of uh, minimizes that shock value, if you will, when you're turning on from hot to cold. But if you don't remember anything else that I say about the uh, tankless water heater, remember that it's 60,000 BTU. Um, so, got all the hot water you need, not gonna run out. Uh, furnace vent here, and then we have a detachable uh, 50 amp power cord on this unit here as well. So, go ahead and tuck that away. Um, now we do have auto leveling as I already pointed out and you can see our jacks there uh, that are of course up right now. This is the back of our refrigerator access panel um, vent up top familiar to many of you who've, who've had RVs before and this little vent right here is for over the range so it's a ducted, uh, ducted range cover. All right coming back on the back side here Again, we have our camera up there. So that guy helps for backing in after dark, but it's also a security camera. Up until 2023, you couldn't use the cameras for security because they didn't receive power when you're plugged up to shore power at the campground. They were only receiving power when you were going down the road. Now there's a switch inside to flick that guy on and you can use them as a security uh, feature as well. And down here we have a hitch. It's 300 pound weight rating. This is not for towing. This is to add a little cargo carrier, a bike rack. Maybe you want to bring your big green egg or some firewood back here. 300 pounds uh, tongue weight rating on that. Handy to have. Sneaking around the corner here, we have a J port. This is what Jayco calls this little deal right here where you can put in a griddle or a grill. Under here, you'll see there's a propane quick connect. So um, real handy to pop that in there and have an outside cooking location. Now we're on the what I call the fun side of the unit. This is where all the fun stuff happens. Uh, the picnic table, the fire pit and everything. You can see we have nice awning. There's a pair of awnings here. So together you've got the vast majority of the fun side of the unit under cover. I don't have room to push them all the way out here, but with both of those awnings out, you've got a lot of patio coverage out here uh, for activities on this side of the unit. I do have power under here. So if you wanna put a little table out here, have a coffee maker or a blender or, or even a TV, have coax cable right there. So if you've got cable at your campground, and many do, hook in right here and you can have a TV with cable programming right here. Now, see this little insignia? That is a JBL branded speaker. So JBL speaker here, JBL speakers inside and in the ceiling, and it's a JBL stereo. Giant leap forward for Jayco to do that. Uh, I've had a bunch of RVs with some real anemic sound systems. Um, this isn't ultra high end, but this is a very good sound system. I'm a musician, so the audio quality matters to me. Thumbs up to Jayco for doing that. There's a little bit of light under here, which you can't see because it's light out here until we do one of those after dark videos. There's a blue light under here that, that helps light the underside of these steps. and safety feature for getting in and out of the coach after dark. Jayco's really, really conscious about safety things. In fact, that's why I mentioned the magnet catches. They didn't adopt those until years later. A lot of things that Jayco does, they wait until they're proven before they'll adapt them. Case in point, these steps. When these steps first came out, these things on a lot of manufacturers would come crashing down on your head. There was nothing like what is happening right here. This is designed to keep from crashing down on my head. So not only does it, is it a safety thing, it makes it super easy to lift and pull back down. So the storage position is right there. Simply pull it down and then you can adjust each one of these legs by pushing up on this tab and adjusting the legs if you're on uneven ground. Drop this down, 
boom, ready to go. And then you have this grab bar here, which really, even if you don't have knee or hip problems, just to steady yourself going up and down, because that's, a, that's a, four big steps to get up into the coach. That's really handy to have that. So again, kudos to Jayco for doing that. All right, enough of the outside. Let's go have a look on the inside. All right, now we're on the inside of this Eagle 330 RSTS. This feels like a fifth wheel because a lot of the features are gonna be the same that you're gonna see on an Eagle fifth wheel. In fact, when you look at the Eagle line, doesn't matter if it's a bumper pull or a fifth wheel, the trim level is gonna be the same between all Eagles. The main difference is your level, no steps from the back of the coach all the way to the front. So a lot of folks who do have knee or hip problems and they don't wanna navigate the steps that almost always go up right here into the bedroom or in some cases front kitchen uh, or living room in rare cases, you got steps to go up there. Now on this bumper pull, it's flat from one end to the other. And yet from here back, this is just like you're gonna see in an Eagle fifth wheel. You have an island floor plan, you've got opposing slides. Anytime you have opposing slides, voila. <laughs> it's like a ballroom in here, lots of elbow room. I just, uh, my wife and I, when we were shopping, one of our go-to things was to have opposing slides in the main part of the living area. Now, if you're a small family, just a couple maybe, or a single person, you may not need that much room. But if you've got kids or you've just had enough RVs to the point where, hey, we're gonna spend the winter in this, then I want a little more elbow room. Now, uh, speaking of spending the winter, all Eagles and above, so Eagles, North Point, and Pinnacles, have a full-time for RV use warranty that stays intact with Jayco. Jayco's pretty confident of their warranty, which is already the best in the industry. It's a two-year warranty, three-year structure, so nobody even comes close to that. Great warranty, especially for those who are going to full time or maybe spend uh, a season in it in the winter time down in South Texas or Florida or something. All right, so opposing slides up here, nice size galley, nice size uh, island. You can see that I have a spigot here, which ha has water provided from this five gallon jug under here. There's a separate water pump right here on the end that you turn the switch on. That means you're supplying fresh, clean water here for drinking and cooking. Now, some RV parks, the water is not so great. Uh, some's all right, but in this case, you know the water you're drinking and it's coming from that. You can either get it filled at a big box store, Crystal Springs, or have it delivered to your unit if you have an account. In any case, you're cooking and drinking that water and you can save the space in your refrigerator for much more important things like beer and eggs and stuff like that. Speaking of the refrigerator, this is a gas electric fridge, four door as you can see. So pretty, pretty nice size. So this is a tried and true technology. It's running off propane if you don't have hookups. It's running on uh, uh, electricity when you, when you do. And because it is four doors, pretty decent amount of space. I will say that the industry is gravitating toward 12 volt fridges. This one is gas electric. A lot of people like those because when you're off grid, you don't have hookups, you can run off propane. It uses a tiny amount of propane to continue running for a long time. Now we have a three burner Furion cooktop here. Pop this uh, cover back to become a backsplash, removable grid for easy cleaning, backlit controls, decent sized little oven. And then there is some more storage down here. This is your strainer for the sink and a teak cutting board for the sink. Very nice. Now, Jayco is also famous for their cabinet build. Having just visited the factory, I, I have a renewed appreciation for this. They got one guy up there who's doing nothing else but building cabinets and taking his time doing it. You notice these are all solid wood. Um, they're also four-sided, all right? So a lot of manufacturers, they're gonna put this piece in here. They'll let this front piece become that side of the unit. So this is a box, and then they put the front facing piece on there as well. It's a lot stronger. Ball bearing, uh, full extension drawer glides with 75 pound weight rating. Far superior to what you're gonna see uh, with all the other manufacturers out there. So 
Really nice cabinet build. This is Modern Farmhouse, which has proven to be the most popular decor color that Jayco's done in a lot of years. So Modern Farmhouse, kind of an off-white color. We do have a nice residential size microwave up here. And again, this is vented to the outside. So the range hood is vented, just like home. Have a little um, ceiling lights here, pendant lights. So if you don't wanna take the six steps over to the wall control, you can do it right here. Real handy to do. Um, this is kind of neat. I don't have the chalk writer, but this is basically a dry erase board. You can write your uh, to-do list or so many days to Disney World or whatever on there and just uh, erase it off. It's kind of fun. Notice how the light pops on when I open up the pantry door. All those shelves are fully adjustable. So let's say you have a vacuum, small vacuum you want to put in the bottom. You can raise these all up or even take a shelf out completely and accommodate your storage needs. I like that Jayco made those fully adjustable. Now, entertainment system. We've got a smart TV here, a JBL sound system, and a fireplace. Really, what more do you need? <laughs> now that's camping. So this will knock the chill off this, and the weather we've been having in Texas here lately is perfect fireplace weather. I sometimes get the eye roll when I talk to talk about fireplaces and RVs, but honestly, this is a fancy space heater. If you paid your 50 bucks a night at a campsite, you might as well use their electricity than your own propane to knock the chill off of this, and this will do a great job. What I would do is turn this on, um, maybe on low, it's already throwing heat right now, and then turn your central unit, your fan up top on low, so it's just circulating the air keeps the air a more consistent temperature, keeps it comfortable in here. It's warm enough today, I don't need that heat. Um, we've got three zones here, A, B, and C on your JBL system. A are these speakers right here, B are the speakers up in the ceiling, and C are the speakers out on the patio. Again, all JBL, nice quality. Now our sofa, this is a trifold sofa. If you uh, have guests that uh, want to spend the night, it's up to you whether you tell them that this makes into a bed. That's the information only for you. But I'll tell you, this does turn into a bed. It's a trifold. Um, yeah, let's do it. Doesn't take long. I'll show you how quick it is. Pop those off there. Lift up the front. Pull this out. Just like that. Okay, did you time me, Brian? That didn't take too long. Super easy to do. Throw a quilt over that, some blankets. Perfectly comfortable place to sleep. There's no metal bar digging you in the back on this. So real easy to do. And you can access it from either side. Pop these legs back in. Put the cushions back and we're good to go. Now there is on either side of the sofa USB and household current both on both sides of it so you can be charging your gadgets plug in uh, something with household current maybe you've got an electric throw for the sofa you can do that we do have some more storage up here with smoked glass inserts and there uh, are roller shades all the way around so soft close full blackout roller shades all the way around on this. Now our two reclining chairs right across from the fireplace and TV. Notice we have these neat TV tray inserts so you don't lose your cup holder. You have a cup holder here, pop that in, you still have a cup holder. If you want to recline it, simply pull up on this tab, boom, like that. If you want to push back, you, it's a wall hugger. So I'm six feet tall. Plenty of support for my legs and perfect TV viewing angle right there as well. Very nice. And these, again, pop out and you can throw them under the bed if you uh, don't need them. All right, coming around to this side, we have a GFI protected outlet. So if you want to put a coffee maker or something up here, you can do that. And then we have a table with four chairs. You say, but there's only two chairs. There's two more chairs that come along with this unit. They're just folding chairs upholstered just like that. And I can extend this out like so. So we have room for four people to comfortably sit around here. 
did I say? Well, lots of USB parts, right there's two more. And again, shortcuts for our ceiling lights, right there, pendant lights, dinette, and all exterior. You're in here, gosh, I forgot, I'll turn all the lights on outside, boop, just like that. Um, all right, before I leave this area, lots of storage here as well. I love this feature where you can make this into a coat closet or have a shelf here and be more of a pantry kind of a thing. Pop that up out of the way and now it's a coat closet for hats and scarves and jackets. Pop that down, store food items and so on in there. More storage on either side there. How nice is that? Perfect what I would call coffee bar here. Um, I do have USB and household current up here so I can put an appliance or a toaster oven or a coffee maker in there. Storage there as well as underneath. This is where your breakers and your fuses are. They're all nicely labeled. First thing you're going to want to do if you ever have some outlets that aren't working or lights or something's not working, check your breakers. And also remember the, your GFI outlets, if one of them blows, then everything downstream from that's not going to work either. So check your GFIs that you might need to reset them if you ever have an issue. Light up our little BM Pro system here. This is the brains of the unit. This is an Android tablet. Actually pops off of here if you ever needed to do some, some uh, work on it or have some settings checked or so on. Your climate control right here, so you can see our main AC is set on 70. Our second AC is not running right now. That little droplet is all of our tank levels. The little gear is all of our leveling and slide out motors. Uh, again, I did climate control. And then our lighting, this is cool. You can uh, dim all the lights in here by just dragging it to the right and left and, uh, and then leave it at that setting. When you turn it off and back on, it comes right back to that setting. Here's a cool thing. You can put this app on your phone and do all these settings from your phone. Even when you're outside the unit, push a slide out from your phone so you know you're not pushing the slide out into a tree or a rock or something. Now, here's important to, to note. In the unlikely event that this screen went black, and it wasn't working. You still have hardwired switches down here. I hit that one. A1 is awning one, awning two, slide one, slide two, slide three, and then extend and retract. So these are hardwired. These are old fashioned switches behind, behind there. Um, there's been some folks, for whatever reason, that screen after years of use might uh, be an issue and they might need to replace the tablet, you can still push the slides out and so on with those hardwired switches. This is a, called a thermistor. This is sampling the air temperature and sending that information back uh, there. This looks like a little picture frame. It's a great little deal. It gives you access to the backside of the plumbing in the shower here. So if you ever need to get in there, you don't have to cut a hole in the wall. There's already one. Huge shower. <laughs> this is great. So I'm six feet tall. Average build, plenty of room in here, uh, and a little bench here. My wife likes this for shaving legs. I don't shave my legs. She does. Upgraded shower heads in matte black finish. Really, really nice. Little undermount sink here, and this has proven to be really popular. Tell me what you think. I've asked before, but I haven't asked in a while. What do you think of this blue? This is blue. There's no other blue anywhere in this unit, but there's blue right here. Uh, I'm not going to tell you who's winning the vote contest, but <laughs> drop a comment below and let me know if you like this blue color. In any case, nice undermount sink. That little Furion control right there is the uh, on-demand water heater, so you can set the temperature and uh, monitor that. We do have a nice medicine cabinet that's got backlit lights behind it and more storage there. There's a, a vent above us here. This is cool. You don't have to put a vent cover on it. It's already got one on it. It can't rain in there. So the way it's designed, it's designed, it's completely uh, weatherproof. So when you need it turned on, you don't have to worry about cranking the, the uh, lid open. All right, into the bedroom we go. 
lots of, we've got a king bed. So a lot of people ask me about, yeah, I want a king bed because we have a king bed at home. Well, you got a king bed here. The advantage of having a king bed in an RV is that it's a king bed. The disadvantage of having a king bed in the RV is it's a king bed. There's very little room on either side of this. If your priority is sleeping comfortably with plenty of elbow room, because that's what you have at home, bingo, this is what you need. If you'd rather have a little more space on either side of the bed, no matter how big your slide is, maybe a queen's better for you. So, just some things to think about. Reading lights up here, we do have some storage. A lot of manufacturers are not going to give you struts here. They're just gonna have a hinged door that goes boom. Like nice little struts that hold that up while you can access the, the goodies in there. Now this unit is prepped for washer and dryer. So if you want to, see how that motion light just popped on in there. This middle section is just storage. So we have hanging clothes rod, shelves, and then two pull out. Wow, really deep pull out drawers here. Remember those are full extension. They don't just come that far out. Full extension drawer glides. Same drill over here. So that would be where your dryer goes on that side, washer on this side. So they would be separated units if you put a washer and dryer. There is an outlet there and there's an outlet on that side of the bed too. And those are inverted outlets. So, you know, a lot of people need CPAP machines and so it's nice to have power on either side of the bed should you need it. More storage up here. We have another smart TV here. So smart TVs everywhere. Uh, of course your coax and power up on top here. And then this isn't a super deep chest of drawers, but nice to have that extra storage. These are all Insignia brand smart TVs with shortcuts for Netflix and Hulu, Disney Plus, and so on. Real handy. And this is cool too. It's got a voice activated thing. So you can just hit that microphone, tell it what you want to do. The important things we think about when we're camping, right, is, is the remote control. All right, and then under the bed, more storage. Those are those two chairs I was uh, referring to earlier, folding chairs that match those up there. And then finally, the camera monitor. It's a seven inch uh, camera monitor. Now, when you're going down the road, this is gonna live in the dash of your truck. When you're parked at a campground, I would probably take this and put it right there because when you turn on this security camera switch, now we're sending power to those camera locations. I can keep an eye all the way around this coach through this camera right here. That's pretty cool. So if somebody comes up rapping on your door at one in the morning, you can uh, see if it's your Aunt Matilda or someone that you wanna to talk to. <laughs> see what I did there? All right, hey, 330 RSTS Eagle. This is a great unit. Um, 2023 model, uh, some subtle changes that have happened from 22 to 23 I've pointed out along the way. If you've got questions that I haven't covered in this video, feel free to drop a comment below. While you're down there, as always, I appreciate it if you'll click like and subscribe. That way you'll be the first to know when we post more videos just like this. Again, my name is Mike here at Vaught RV. As always, thanks for joining me. Thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions or any suggestions on content you'd like to see, leave a comment below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks again from Vod RV.